next to where they're draining the water away and suddenly there's a hole that hasn't had the water yet and suddenly there's loads of water in this one coming from the bottom there where it was in the clay. So to fix this I'm going to put some drainage pipes to some sort of soak away or towards the grass or something and that should stop the problem once and for all. The cause, this stuff, clay. If you put somewhere to soak away into clay, it's not going to soak away. It's just simple common sense. British Gas didn't realise this. They put a few stones around the edge and that's it. Okay, we've now got the three channels ready and I'm knocking a hole under the wall so it comes out towards the grass with my hide hammer. Oh dear. Hefty work. Crude method of getting the wood back out, but it worked. Just... Okay, so we're at that point, we've got a nice hole under the under the wall there and now I've got some drainage pipe which I had left over from putting drainage under my grass years ago so we're going to put a bit of that underneath to drain this water away from the boiler right that's ready now for the pipe to go in Okay, so we've got the pipe right up to the holes in the, the, the lime container where the concentrate goes into and that runs right down on a bed of sand right out to where the grass is going and hopefully there's enough room inside this pipe to actually get rid of most of it anyway. Um, and now I'm going to put a bit of normal soil over the top, a bit more sand and then back in with the rubbish clay. There we have it, slabs back down, bit of leftover clay as we filled the hole with sand and other stuff to allow it to drain away and uh, hopefully now the water will drain off into the grass and into the abyss. So we've just got to tidy up now, let's see, whoosh. What's the Bosch boiler with the condensing pipe coming down that goes into the lime and at the bottom of the lime trap it's supposed to escape into the soil. Unfortunately where British Gas placed it was all clay. So when I broke through to the bottom of their escape loads and loads of water came out. So it just proves the point. Don't matter what they do to the boiler, they're never going to fix that problem because it's just going to keep filling up the pipe. Their last fix was to drill a hole in the top of the pipe. So obviously water would then go all the way up to the pipe until it's dripping out the boiler, I would imagine. So hence today's task to drain it all away properly as they should have done on their install. Hope this video a bit of a mess, helps uh, somebody else when they've got the similar issue with the condenser keeps locking out with the error EA. Um, the fix may not be to keep calling the engineer out. Sometimes you just got to get in there and do it yourself. So give it a thumbs up if you liked it and uh, obviously if it helped you. So uh, good luck with yours. <laughs>